Has Putin assassinated the Russian soft power? Has he done that on purpose? Well, clearly, he wants to stay longer in power. And you see, uh, this is difficult when you cannot be loved. Surely you can be feared. According to Machiavellian principles, you can be either loved or feared. So when you cannot be loved, you need to be feared. And as much as the work of Russian literature, I love Russian literature. I love Tolstoy, Dostoevsky, Pushkin, Gogol, Chekhov, Berdaev, Solzhenitsyn. They gave us some hope that Russia could embrace a path towards positive change. When you read their books, poems, you can imagine that Russia is in into civilized modernization that would allow this post-Soviet transition towards becoming a more open, democratic and idealistic international actor that would respect the rule of international law. But 2022 invasion of Ukraine is a very strong remind, reminder that today's Russia is no longer a peaceful nation. It is the nation that can no longer appeal to our imagination as inherently complex, exciting, and multidimensional former empire that fascinated the world with the richness of its literature and poetry. Now, this is yesterday's Russia. Today's Russia is the Russia of Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, the man who thinks that he out Machiavelli, out Machiavelli himself, who decided to unleash a full-scale war on neighboring countries, kill the nation's curiosity enslaved the Russian soul and replaced the last shreds of Western integrated political uh, project of his predecessors with so-called Ruski Mir, which probably comprises the worst elements of its national identity, the mixture of all Russian ideologies of neo-imperialistic expansionist inclination, combined with autocratic ruthlessness, nostalgia for USSR, Putin is that feeds on the example of Stalin's cult of personality, underpinned by policy of casually inflicted system of repression. Look what is happening to all of these people who protest against war. They end up in prison for years. What the hell? That's that's cruel, cruel and uh, totally undemocratic. And the power still remains in the hands of the same man for the last 22 years. So as much as the leading Russian intellectuals may have misled us to believe that the country is interested in playing a special role as a, uh, a special role as a bridge between European individualism and Asian collectivism, in which the role of women in society has a very secret value, this invasion has clearly shown that Russia prefers to put itself on the wrong side of history. Putin decided to cure the country's post-communist inferiority complex with a new sense of delusions of grandeur in which Russia is willing to abandon the rest of its soft power arsenal and replace it with the desire to attain the Kremlin's political objectives by any means necessary. It was a conscious choice of Vladimir Putin to put his country in the position of unpredictable troglodyte that feels inclined to invade other countries such as Georgia in 2008, Ukraine in 2014, Syria in 2015, and again Ukraine in 2022. So how can we respond to that? We need to surprise Putin. We need to find a way to surprise him. And what we are doing ever since February 2022, it is a surprise to Putin. But maybe we could surprise him more 